Hello guys, this is Dr. Possibility from Excel Academy. So in today's class, I'm just going to explain to you on how to work out SADS and their manipulation. So I'm not going to go in details and look at um, the theory part of SADS. Instead, I'll quickly look at few examples. So the first example, which is coming from an exam question. So the first example is simplify, simplify the following, simplify the following. Okay, so this is our first example. So the first one is um, two square root three plus um, four square root 48 and then minus 10 square root 12 okay so for us to look at this question for us to solve this question we first need to make sure that we analyze the numbers that are in the square root so if you look at the number 48 this number 48 square root 48 can also be written as square root 16 times what times 3 okay and then this number square root 12 can also be written as square root 4 times what 3 okay so knowing that so we are going to work out this by saying 2 square root 3 plus 4 square root remember we have said 48 can be written as that so it's going to be 16 times 3 and then minus 10 square roots remember 12 can be written like that 4 times what times 3 so after writing that what next are we supposed to do so the next thing we need to do now is to apply the rules of sat notes okay so what we are going to take note of is that square root a times times b is the same as square root a times b times square root b so take note of that square root a times b is equal to square root a times square root b so these numbers inside can also be separated so we are going to say 2 square root 3 plus 4 square root 16 times square root 3 minus 10 times square root 4 times square root 3 okay so after doing that we can simply work out this question so how can we simply work out this question we know that square root this square root 3 there is no exact value unless you use a calculator but right now we are not using a calculator so we're going to say 2 square root 3 plus 4 times square root 16 of which we know is 4 times square root 3 because square root 3 we can't find it without using a calculator minus 10 times square root 4 it is just 2 times square root 3 so from that we are going to have 2 square root 3 plus 4 times 4 it is 16 times square root 3 and then minus 20 times square root 3 with that being said we can simply say 2 square root 3 plus 16 square root 3 minus 20 square root 3 so if you look at all these values these values are just simply like terms so since they are like terms what we are just going to do is this is more like 2x plus 16x minus 20x okay so in short we are going to say 2 plus 16, which is 18, 18 minus 20, which is negative 2. So we are going to have negative 2 square root 3. So negative 2 square root 3 is the simplified version of that question. 
please make sure that you register with excel academy because our classes are both online and physical remember excel academy was recently awarded as the best academy in zambia so please make sure that you register with that and benefit from our lessons the next one is going to be square root 2 plus um, 2 square root 5 and then we are going to say cross bracket then we say brackets we say square root 2 minus 2 square root 5 like that okay so if you look at this this is more like difference of two squares but i'm not going to go that route because if i use that route some of us may not get the point so this is what we are going to do so we are going to multiply this by everything so we are going to say square root 2 open bracket square root 2 minus 2 square root 5 cross bracket we say plus 2 square root 5 open bracket square root 2 minus 2 square root 5 we just multiply everything there this part times everything there and that part by everything there so here's a rule that governs this point not okay so the rule that governs this point is square root a times square root a is simply equal to a such that when we say square root 3 times square root 3 the answer is 3 all right take note of that point so with that rule in mind with that rule in mind what are we going to do so with that rule in mind we are going to say square root 2 square root 2 which is this one times square root 2 the answer is 2 and then square root 2 times negative 2 square root 5 the answer is square root 2 then you are going to say dot square root 2 dot square root 5 then you are going to say plus this times that is the same as 2 dot square root 5 dot square root 2. Remember the dots are just simply meaning multiplication. Then this times that automatically 2 times 2 it is 4. Okay, 2 times 2 is 4. And then square root 2, 5 times square root 5 is simply equal to 5 remember the dot is for multiplication so we are going to have 2 this remember that rule the first rule we talked about the first rule we talked about so this is the same as negative 2 then we are going to say square root 2 times 5 inside then we say again plus 2 there then we are going to have square root um, square root 5 times 2 then there it's going to be negative that times that it is just simply equal to 20. so after doing that what are we going to have so what we are going to have is 2 minus 2 square root 10 plus 2 square root square root what 10 minus c 20. so if you look at this we have like terms and unlike terms here so like terms the constant numbers are like terms and these are also like them so this guy and that guy they will go because that is negative that is positive so 2 minus 2 minus 20 is what we are going to have and the answer is negative 18. so this is our solution for the first part let's quickly look at the next example let's quickly look at the next example please in the meantime make sure that you subscribe uh, to our youtube channel and also make sure that you register with excel academy remember like i said excel academy was just recently awarded as the best academy in zambia we made a record of being the first academy to be awarded in Zambia. So please make sure that you register with us.
to enjoy our best services. So the next one is square root 5 uh, minus square root 11 to the power 2. So here's the solution for this guy. So it's very easy. The same way we approach the other ones, it's the same way we're going to approach this one. So this is the same as square root 5 minus square root 11 and then you multiply it again by itself which is square root 5 minus square root 11 okay with that being done this makes our work very easy what are we going to do we're just simply going to multiply this by everything there so without wasting time we're going to say this times that it is 5 it is 5 okay and then this times that is going to be negative 11 times 5 okay then we are going to say this times that it's also negative square root 11 times 5 then this times that it's going to be plus 11 so with that being done ladies and gentlemen our work has been simplified so what we are going to do is we are going to say 5 minus a uh, 5 and that so we are going to say 5 minus this which is square root 55 and then minus square root 55 and then plus 11 so after that like terms and then like terms this and that it's going to be a uh, 16 you know this is the same as negative x minus x which is negative 2x so in this case this will be negative uh 2 square root uh 55 so ladies and gentlemen this was the solution for that question and this is how easily you can work out these questions please make sure that you register with us our classes are both online and also physical so in order to get in touch with us please make sure that you contact the line positive 26 or 96 5887474 or you can also contact us on positive 26 09748406 ladies and gentlemen this was dr possibility from excel academy thank you for joining us if you have any questions please make sure that you contact me and also check up our next video to be uploaded soon. Thank you. Have a blessed day.